Hi, my name is Steve Moyer and I'm going to talk a little bit about something that really concerns me. I read that there's no government agency monitoring the ocean or the wildlife in the ocean for radioactivity from Fukushima. What the hell do we have government for? I think we have government to take care of our legitimate needs. And there are some things, like monitoring for radiation and other pollution, other contaminants, other poisons, in our food, in our water, in our air, and to tell us, well, what have you got? If we don't know what we've got, we don't know what to do about it. We have to first know what we've got. And we know there's something there. We just don't know how much and what it is and where it is and so forth. Is it in the tuna? Is it in the salmon? Is it in the crabs? Is it in, you know, oysters? What is, what is happening with the Pacific Ocean? There's a lot of radioactivity that's gone into it the past three years since Fukushima blew up and melted down in 2011. March 2011. Go to Google and Fuk Fukushima. Uh, f type in Fukushima. F-U-K-U-S-H-I-M-A. And maybe you want to add something like radioactive contamination or something like that and see what you find. Or you can go to my module, JC, that stands for Japan Crisis, dot nodes dot org jc dot nodes dot org n o d as in david e s dot org that'll get you started and take a look at my <clears throat> nuclear radiation fact sheet at uh, radiation fact sheet dot nodes dot org I'll be giving you a lot of nodes dot org stuff and take a look at this information and say what the hell is going on what the hell is going on? And why is our government not monitoring the air, the water, and the food? And I'm not just talking about the federal government. I'm talking about the state governments like California, Washington, Oregon, and British Columbia for Canada, and Alaska. Alaska's gotten a lot of radioactive fallout from Fukushima. The current goes up there, takes it up there. There's a whole lot of debris in the Pacific Ocean that's heading towards the coast, the west coast. So at some point that's going to come on the coast. I think it already has started to come on the coast. And it's going to release its radioactive poison into the environment. So if you're living on the west coast, you really need to pay attention to this because radioactivity is an insidious poison. It accumulates over time. It isn't like you're going to drop dead tomorrow. It's like it, it'll hit you in 5 or 10 or 20 years. And children are more vulnerable to it than adults. And female children are more uh, vulnerable than male children. Nobody really knows why, but it, it is true. <clears throat> so, who is going to stand up for this and say, let's get going and put this in the budget? It's a budget item for EPA, for Fish and Wildlife, and Department of Interior. It, it, lots of agencies should be monitoring, not just one agency, and the state agencies too. What the heck are people thinking? They're thinking like, oh, maybe if we ignore it, it'll go away. This stuff lasts for th centuries, for thousands of years. Some of it lasts for half a million years, half a billion years. I mean, there are hundreds of different radioactive isotopes that have come from Fukushima. Some of them last for, you know, months. Some of them last for years. Some of them last for centuries. Some of them last for millennia. Okay. This isn't going to go away. They haven't fixed Fukushima. It's still leaking. It's still spewing its toxic poison into the air and into the ocean. The people in Japan are dying. They're getting sick. Of course they are. They've gotten a huge amount of radioactivity. They need to evacuate. Huge numbers of Japanese need to leave their country. That's the only solution that makes sense. 
and we have 18 million empty homes here in America, why don't we make our empty homes, our empty houses, available to the Japanese who need to evacuate? That would be the right thing to do. And you know what? Japanese are pretty good workers, so they'd probably help our economy, too. There's a lot of synergy here, a lot of multiple things working together. So, you know, maybe I'll run for president in 2016. Maybe I'll start in 2014. I don't know. I don't really want to be president. I, I think it's a terrible job. I think it's a terrible idea to have a president. It's a carryover from the king tradition. We didn't want a king, so we made a president. Well, we don't need a king or a president, really. What we need is a responsible government, a government that takes responsibility for the health of the people. And I think that could take place in a number of different ways. Congress could do it. In fact, Congress has the power to do it any day of the week. They create trillions of dollars through the Federal Reserve to keep the banking system going. And the banks are evil. What are you going to do about the banks? I mean, my God, they're just raping us. I think the expression that uh, you know Gregory Manorino uses is, is a, the greatest wealth transfer in history from the people who have a little to the people who have a lot. We're making the rich richer faster. That's what's going on with the economic system, and it's ridiculous. By the way, you don't need debt to have an economic system. You can have an economic system that's built on faith in the people. If we have a good government, then the government is doing the things the people want done, and we will support the economy because we support what the government's doing. You don't need to have usury. You don't need to have interest. You can simply issue money and people will honor it. It's about honor. And faith. Faith in the real resources of the nation, which is the people and the physical resources, the land and so forth. So, I don't know if I'm going to run. That's just an idea. But I don't really like running. I think our political system sucks. We need a new one. This system sucks, let's face it. It's all about money, and money's an evil thing. We need a new economic system. You know, so I got running here. I got started with the radiation thing, and look at where I ended up. We need a new economic system. And it's true, because when you look at Fukushima and you say, well, why isn't this being dealt with? Oh, we don't have the money. Oh, no, don't have the money. We have money for everything under the sun. If you want to have a war in Syria, oh, we got money for that. But we don't have money for Fukushima? What the hell's wrong with us? We're talking about the future of humanity. We're talking about the Earth. We're talking about polluting the Earth for thousands of years. And we don't have money to do anything to mitigate that? Oh, God. What kind of morons are we? Really? Morons? You're going to spend 10,000 times more in the future because you didn't want to spend it now. And what does it mean to spend money if you don't have to go into debt to do it? And we're not going into debt. We're not recognizing the debt that's being created by all the money which the Federal Reserve is pumping into our economy to make the stock prices look high when the companies aren't really making that much money. Consumers are slowing down on their spending. The first quarter had a drop of 2.9% GDP drop, or something like 3% drop. Well, that means that everything's slowing down. Why is it slowing down? We're not doing the right things. We should be pumping money into the problems, like Fukushima, and saying, let's solve this problem. Get all the universities working on it. What can we do about it? Spend a trillion dollars if you have to. It's worth it because you're going to spend a whole lot more in the future if you don't. Do it now. And start by monitoring. We know how to do that. And no government agency is monitoring the Pacific Ocean or the food from it. Come on. And we should be monitoring everything that comes from Japan because Japan is highly polluted with radioactivity. 
I wouldn't buy a car from Japan. I wouldn't recommend anybody buy it. I don't think you should buy anything from Japan. They're still thinking about revving up their nuclear power plants again. They shut them down, but now they're thinking of starting them up again. What the heck is wrong with those people? Well, it isn't the people. To be honest, it's a handful of people in the positions of leadership in the government and industry who want to rev it up. And those people need to be shamed. For God's sake, have the Japanese lost their sense of shame? Look what you've done to the world. Nuclear power is a disaster. We need to get out of it. We need to get into alternative energy. How about zero interest loans for every homeowner so they can put solar cells on their roof and get off the grid? Or to keep connected to the grid but feed the grid solar power, you know? Well, so what if it costs a trillion dollars? We've got trillions for war. We've got trillions for the banksters. Why don't we have trillions to put solar power on our roof? and get off a of nuclear power shut them down there are disasters waiting to happen come on who is the anti-nuclear candidate for 2016 oh my god don't tell me it's Hillary Hillary's a closet Republican in fact probably half the Democrats are closet Republicans including Obama I don't know he doesn't seem like much of a Democrat remember Democrats like JFK and uh, you know RFK and MLK, you know Martin Luther King, and go back to FDR if you want. He was a Democrat. What's wrong with us? You think Republicans have solutions? Name one. They want to make the rich richer. They're all about worshiping money. Don't vote Republican. They're a disaster. And I think half the Democrats should leave their party and join the Republicans. Come on, they're not Democrats. They're not really giving us a choice. They're just saying, we're not quite as bad as the Republicans. Vote for us. It's like, oh, please, get out of this. Get off the stage. You're pathetic. And we need to start talking like that to politicians who suggest, yeah, we need nuclear power. You're pathetic. Get off the stage. We don't need nuclear power. Open your eyes. We have all kinds of energy technologies. We don't need nuclear power. Nuclear power is a disaster. Did you know all nuclear power plants leak? Look up tritium and nuclear power. Tritium is an insidious radioactive isotope. T-R-I-T-I-U-M. It's radioactive hydrogen. And it, they, you can't filter it. Uh, it gets into your body, causes cancer. Oh, it's awful. Why do you think we have so much cancer? It's because of nuclear power. Connect the dots. Well, there's other things in our environment too that cause cancer. We have all kinds of chemicals in our environment. But nuclear power is especially dangerous. And we need to get rid of it. We need to end it. Period. So, appreciate your comments. Go to my website, stevemoyer.us. S-T-E-V-E-M-O-Y-E-R dot U-S and have a nice day.